Today's video is going to be about my new heater. So as you can tell, I'm sitting in the back of my van. Um, when I was camping in Arizona, right around supper time or shortly after, it would start to get really cold in my van and I felt like it was too cold to comfortably do anything. I brought some work projects and things along that I wanted to do and during the day I was out and about doing different things and in the evening I wanted to work on some of those projects and it just was too cold and I would get under my covers and just want to go to bed and so I pretty much just watched videos under the covers um, the whole time I was down there and that really is restricting and so um, not all of my camping is going to be done uh, in warm weather uh, where it's um, warm enough to just either be outside the van doing things sometimes you're just gonna have to be inside and on a rainy day that means it's not gonna be that warm either so I bought a heater um, I will show you what kind of heater it is as soon as I set it up but that's what today's video is gonna be like I'm g about I'm gonna um, start the heater and sit in my van let me look and see what the temperature is here today. So the temperature in Enderby right now is 8 degrees, so it's pretty warm. But 8 degrees Celsius, uh, it's pretty warm. Um, but I'm going to see how long it takes to warm up this fan and whether it feels comfortable in here. And I will also show you the one I was using previously that was not working for many reasons, and I'll explain that in a few minutes. Alright, okay, I'm sort of set up. Uh, the lighting, I guess, is not that great. Hold on, I'm going to move this. That's better. Okay, so, this is the heater that I bought. I'm sorry, I can't get that close. And it actually doubles, and I can't change anything. I have a few things to learn about YouTubing still, so just bear with me. You can actually flip it so that it sits like this, and the heating surface is on top, and you can actually cook things on top, so they say. I haven't tried it yet. So the type of heater that I bought says Yen... Yan Chuan. I'm not sure that's the English side you're getting. And this is set up as a cook stove. It has this little rack to put on. It just fits in there to be on a flat surface. I'm going to set a pot on there and cook, which I most likely won't do because now I actually have three alternatives for cooking. That's probably not going to be one of them. So let me show you first, before we start that one up, what I was using and how bad it was. I bought this one about 20 years ago. And I haven't used it for about 15 years ago. It's one of the ones that you plug that into the into the canister. And you have to actually light it with the thing. You turn the gas at the back and you light it with a lighter right there. And then the gas canister plugs into a little stand like this which is not very stable because for the most part this table is not here and I don't have a solid surface to put it on so I was terrified that it was going to tip over and catch all my bedding on fire and in the process me on fire. So I didn't like using this when I was using it. It didn't warm the van very well and it um, I was holding on to it all the time. I always had my hand on it and I was you know reading on my book and holding on to the heater at the same time and trying to keep warm. So really not functional for my use. So that's why I bought this one. And this one, I believe, let's see if we can make it work. Just plug the butane 
into, it's just like those cook stoves that you see everybody using. Or maybe you have one yourself. But I'm not certain that's correct. So. When it's running. Frank finally got it going for me. Thank you, Frank. Neighbor Frank. And yes, because I couldn't roll my window down from here, I have my door wide opened. And it actually is pretty warm even with the door wide open. So this thing produces probably more than enough heat. So I'm happy with it. I'm not happy with the whole um, trying to get it running. But uh, Look at the, here's the instruction manual. It's not super clear. I mean, obviously you can't read that probably on the screen, but here, I believe this is the problem solving section. What the heck is that supposed to mean? To distinguish and dispose the malfunction and abnormal. So I was not able to get it going. Do you think any of this helped? No, not really. Alright everybody, thanks for watching again this week. I just thought I'd leave you with a little bit of a video clip that I took on a drive that I was on just this past week, just to show you a little bit of spring in the North Okanagan. Enjoy, and we'll see you next week.